So let me talk through this conditional formatting logic concept and how we can use conditional formatting to make inputs more intuitive for users. And this is important because our models are only worthwhile if others, uh, perhaps who are less proficient at real estate financial modeling or who are new to the model, can still use those models uh, for worthwhile purposes. And conditional formatting is a good way to kind of guide users as they're, as they're making inputs in your model. And so here I have just a very basic uh, budget cash flow module with just one line item. I have a forecast method with a drop down menu that, op that gives us the option of either straight line or manual uh, forecast method. And then I have some range uh, uh, primarily for the straight line calculation that says cash flows start in month one. In this case, cash flows end in month five. The amount that will be straight, oh, that will be spent over those five months is five million. And then as we change these inputs, the calculation module out to the right adjusts accordingly, right? And what we want to do is we want to, uh, I'm going to create two uh, rules here. The first is when you toggle this to manual, the cells out here to the right are going to change to a blue font. And I'm also going to add a light blue background. And I only do that in instances such as this. Uh, even though it's not exactly convention, what it does is, is it alerts the user that there are now input cells that didn't exist before. And this is important, especially in instances here where, where you have a, a long string of cash flows or a long string of cells that will now be inputs that weren't inputs previously. Uh, so that's the first uh, conditional formatting logic that I'm gonna do. Uh, the second is uh, I'm going to guide the users to a specific range of cells to limit which cells uh, they edit. So let's start with that first. This is the simpler one. Uh, first, we'll highlight all of the cells that will be impacted by this conditional formatting logic. Then I come to the home ribbon at the top, go to conditional formatting, click new rule. And then I want this rule to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And what we're really saying here is uh, when uh, whatever logic is, is written here, when that's true, the formatting within these cells will change to whatever we uh, decide here. So I'll click this button and then I'm gonna write the, the, the rule. And the rule is when the forecast method cell, C6, and it automatically sets to be an absolute cell reference, and that's, that's important here, when C6 equals manual, when that is true, we want formatting to change with the font to be blue. And if this blue isn't under recent cl colors, click more colors and 00255, that's straight blue. And then we want our fill color just to be a light blue like that one there, okay? Hit okay, and now these cells turn blue. And then if we toggle back to straight line, what will happen? They turn black. Now, that's the first method. That's that's pretty simple. What if though we only want the cells that fall within this range to turn blue? Now I recognize that's probably not. This isn't the best case to do that because if you change the forecast method to manual, what you're really saying is, hey, you can enter values in all of the across the analysis period so long as the sum of those values equal the total for the budget item. Uh, but just bear with me because I wanna show you this logic and, and it's used in, I use it in instances such as when I ha I'm modeling manual leases and the lease has a defined time period and I only want the user to enter values within that defined period. But basically what I'm, I'm gonna do here is only the cells within this range will turn blue. Okay, so what I do, I come back up here again, select those cells, go to conditional formatting, manage rules, and we're gonna edit this rule. Okay, hit edit. And it's going to be a and statement because there's gonna be a, a, variety of a variety of things that must be true in order for this formatting to take place. So I come here, type and, open parentheses, leave C6, absolute, both row and, and column equal to manual. That's the first logic statement. 
The next one is we want the, and again, this is, we've selected all of, all of the cells in the range. We only want this to occur when the month in which the cell that is being referenced is within the range that is defined out here. All right, so we're gonna come up and we're gonna hit this one here. And again, because the range starts, our, our selected range starts here at the far left, we're gonna start and we're gonna select that very first month. But we're going to change uh, the cell reference such that only the row, so we hit F4 one time, only the row is absolute. The column is relative such that that, that, that logic moves to the right based on where we are in the range. When that is greater than or equal to the start month, and again, we're gonna hit F4 one two times this time, and only, uh, or set the column absolute, leave the row relative. When that's the case, and, so hit comma, again, our month, hit F4 one time. When that is less than or equal to the end month, hit F4 one two times and make the column absolute, close parentheses. When all three of those logic statements are true, then it will set the uh, background to be blue, the, the font to be blue, and so forth. All the rest will stay black. Hit OK, hit Apply, and sure enough, right, just the cells within that range are blue. And you can see that when we come out, change this to straight line, all black, come back to manual, blue, we can change the range that maybe start month four, end month 10, and again, four through 10 because of that conditional formatting rule. So that's using conditional formatting rules to make inputs more intuitive for the users. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Uh, conditional formatting can be a little tricky, so I'm happy, uh, happy to uh, answer any follow-up questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time.